Finally tonight, Elisa Montanti is a woman in New York who worried about children wounded in war. She had no money, no experience, but she started a charity to bring these children to the United States for treatment. We first met her at 60 Minutes a couple of years ago, and recently we decided to catch up to find out what happened to an Iraqi boy that she was caring for, a boy named Wa'ad. That's Wa'ad, two years ago, arriving in America with his mother Wafa. Elisa Montanti brought them here after an American soldier told her Wa'ad's story. He was uh, walking with his friends and they were kicking a bottle. I think the first child kicked a bottle and then maybe the second, and then he kicked it and it exploded. It was a bomb. It was a bomb. Wad lost an eye, his right arm and left leg. Wow, he really gets around well. At the Shriners Hospital in Philadelphia, Wad was fitted with new limbs. He got a prosthetic eye. And in New York, Dr. Kave Elizade did reconstructive surgery. Take a look at mommy. Wad's mother began to recognize the face that she hadn't seen in two years. After our 60 Minutes report, donations flooded in to Montanti's shoestring charity. She's bringing in many more children disfigured by war and following up as the kids get older. Recently, Wad came back to America, two years after we first met him. Wad has outgrown his leg and his arm, and so he's back in the Shriners Hospital, and uh, he is all excited about getting his new leg. Bring us up to date on global medical relief since we talked to you last. Uh, we have gotten an overwhelming amount of love and support, letters, emails, donations. Um, celebrities have both contributed into buying us a new home. So the children now have a house, a home away from home. This new house will hold five children while they're being treated. As for Wad, he'll soon be going back home to Iraq. Tell me about Miss Elisa and what she's meant to you. He said, I love her. Montante has brought more than 150 wounded children to America for treatment, all of them cared for by doctors, nurses, and hospitals volunteering their time.